Thank you, Chairperson. Um, our report and our brief presentation has been filed already, but I feel, unfortunately, that it is more important for me to respond to some of the statements that were made yesterday by the South African representative regarding this issue. The representative of South Africa said that those who call for the prioritizing of farm murders in South Africa are doing so because they are apartheid sympathizers. I find this extremely insulting, and I think it's not only a violation of my right to human dignity, uh, but also to our rights as a minority community. Um, the representative also suggested that we are calling for prioritizing of these attacks or of crime on a race basis, which is blatantly false. And furthermore, it was argued that it doesn't make sense to draw a distinction or to prioritize a, a particular type of crime within a broader crime category. I find this strange because it means that the South African government is very inconsistent with the approach because it's easy for the South African government to prioritize the, uh, the killing or the poaching of rhinoceroses. It's easy for the South African government to dispatch more police officials to black townships where there's a, crime, uh, a high crime rate, and we support that. It's easy for the South African government to draw up a counter strategy when police officials are being killed in disproportionate numbers. In South Africa, it's twice as dangerous to be a farmer than a police official. But when we talk about uh, farm murders, then all of a sudden the response is that it doesn't make sense to prioritize these attacks. Uh, recently, the President of South Africa said in Parliament, and I quote, we have more rights because we are the majority. You have less rights because you are a minority. Absolutely, that is how democracy works. The reality is that farmers in South Africa are being attacked in, and killed in complete disproportionate numbers and that these attacks are, are committed in a very brutal fashion, that many of them are committed to or subjected to hours of torture. Ati Potgieter, for example, was stabbed 151 times with a garden fork while his two-year-old girl had to, had to watch. Uh, Johan Skuman was tied behind a pickup truck and dragged over a dirt road until his organs bursted. Anniki van Rooyen was, stuck, was still alive when she was stuck in a deep freeze. Uh, Roger van Parijs had a samurai sword pushed down his, down his throat, and still we don't get reaction from the South African government regarding these attacks. What we do, however, get, and it's been, uh, it is on record that some of the victims have been mocked and ridiculed by representatives of the South African government. As a matter of fact, the spokesperson for the Minister of Police issued a press statement saying that it is only publicity stunts when the victims call for prioritizing of these attacks. Uh, Mr. Chairperson, I have to go back and report to our constituency what is being done about this problem. And I come here to find the South African representative saying that the people who want these crimes to be prioritized are only doing so because we want to bring apartheid back. I find it offensive, and I wish to state for the record that that is not the case. And I wish to, I wish to call on the representative here to take note of this problem. Thank you very much. Thank you.